Hey, air signs. Welcome to Pure Black Magic Tarot. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is your weekly energy update for the week of June the 4th through the 10th. Give or take a couple of days. Very general messages for the Air Sign Collective, so please do not force this reading to fit. If it does resonate and you are seeking a personal reading with me, you can get that booking information from the description box below. Um, and if you would like complete access to this video, the entire video, as well as early access, you can find that perk along with other perks on my Patreon. That link is in the description box below as well. So, Air Signs, just intuitively, um, some of y'all might be nervous this week or worried or concerned about something, someone, how a situation is going to turn out. Um, or maybe you're just having some sort of like stomach issues or digestive issues, air signs. So just a heads up, I do feel like, you know, um, there is something that just could be affecting your body. So maybe what you're thinking about, how you're thinking about something, you may see that play out in like your body, like headaches or, you know, stomach issues or um, something about stress or something that you're stressing over could be affecting you physically. So just be mindful of that. But let's see what's going on here. We just had a full moon. Okay. Gemini season, but the moon was in Sagittarius. Um, this past Saturday. So let's start off with the Moonology decks. Let's see. Clarity confirmation for my air signs this week. Holy Spirit, what is the energy looking like? What is it that they need to know? We also going to tap into the energy oracle deck as well as the tarot for some extra details. So again, if you guys want to get the, the full reading, you can find that on my Patreon. But we have look at the bigger picture, okay? And this, what's crazy is this is full moon in Sagittarius. We just had the full moon in Sag. So um, something could be triggering you, okay? Or somebody that you're connected with to look at the bigger picture, to look at something differently or you're needing to... You're needing to perceive yourself or someone else or a situation differently, okay? It's maybe you're too um, focused in or too worried about something. You, it's something that you might not be viewing correctly, whether it's how you're thinking about yourself, a particular situation, you know, or your connection with somebody um, outside of yourself. And we have a personal issue reaches resolution. This is full moon in cancer. So this, it has a lot to do with you, okay? The way you're viewing yourself where you're at in life. I don't know how like small or large of a scale this is on for you air signs, but it's something about how you think about what you're doing, what you want to do, what you're involved with, who you're involved with. It's something like that. But I do feel like you're you're coming out of this energy. So if it was like, you know, anxiety, worrying, not feeling good enough, whatever the feelings have been, okay, towards yourself about something that you're connected to somebody, I feel like you're coming out of this, you know, crazy energy, which, you know, that's what usually full moons represents releasing. So um, either again, you're already kind of on the right path to doing this or spirit is asking you to release some sort of like something, the way you view yourself. If you think it's almost given like, how does the quote go? Something like, you know, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. So give yourself more credit. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, don't count yourself out. Don't feel like you're not good enough. I feel like you might be, or maybe you have been kind of like, paying too close of a attention on I'm hearing like certain things or characteristics or certain things about yourself that really don't matter. So maybe you're judging yourself. You think somebody else is judging you or you think people would judge you for something, something like that. Air signs is going on for um, a few of you guys, but that's not even the case. Okay. So yeah. And then we have, look at this, surrender to the divine is right here with the full moon energy. Okay. So let's go ahead and hop into the energy deck and let's see what's going on there. Clarity confirmation for my air signs. Uh, we have patience is already at the bottom. Okay. So be patient with yourself. Um, your sixth chakra is showing up here as well. Okay. Third eye chakra, clarity confirmation. The sun card is here. Um, maybe you're just wanting to be quote unquote in a better space, a better place, a different vibe on a different level. Um, some of y'all are struggling with feeling like you should be further along or something about feeling like you should have more or you're not good enough or it's something like that. 
um, air signs, clarity, confirmation. Yeah, anxiety is here. Okay, and now we have uh, the seven chakra. So your your uh, third eye and your crown chakra showing up here. Hmm. Or somebody's making you anxious, or something about making a decision makes you anxious. It, it kind of feels like you're heavily thinking about something, someone. Okay, for whatever reasons, and it's making you. It makes you anxious. Clarity, confirmation. Somebody makes you nervous. That's what I was getting from the beginning. Like something, maybe you might be feeling like a little intimidated or you're just unsure as to like how to go about something. If you should make a certain decision or not. It's, it's giving air sign energy. Like it's giving y'all all in y'all heads this week. Look at this. Action fell out. We're going to take them. Action fell out and broken heart. So, wow. Look what's behind the broken heart. Karen Connections. We got three. Um... So, yeah, it's giving now air signs. This could be you or this could be somebody coming towards you. Like if this is a connection, we have broken heart care and connections here. It's like someone in this dynamic is wanting to go towards something, someone. But I feel like there's a fear of failure or something not working out. Uh, so maybe you want to shoot your shot. Somebody's want to shoot their shot with you or, you know, somebody might want like a, a connection or a deeper level of a connection or something like that. Um, but there's some sort of fear here. Um, or even if this is just you, this could be you towards someone else. But if it's not towards necessarily like a person, it could be like just a goal, a goal here. Or somebody's trying to, you know, that you're unsure about, like if this can happen, if you can achieve it. Um, or somebody could also be trying to mend something with you air signs or you're trying to mend something with someone else. I don't know if there's been like an actual breakup that has happened between you and this person um, or some sort of falling out, some sort of disagreement, but somebody is also very determined to align a situation, fix a situation, mend the situation. Somebody's like really eager to like get to you, okay, and build or rebuild some sort of bond with you or this is how you're feeling towards somebody else here. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have victory, okay? We have victory. We have uh, the fifth chakra. So somebody's speaking up. They're speaking their truth. Something's being communicated to you. Um, the world card here and door to spirit. Now, outside of like a personal relationship, which is like you cannot, something's you, it's obvious here that a lot of y'all are dealing with like love or some sort of relationship. Um, but outside of that, if this is connected to more so just like a wish fulfillment, like an opportunity or a job or something like that, I do feel as if there's good news being communicated, like a door, there's an opportunity, door of opportunity, there's some sort of faded um position or something's heavily changing with the world card here in terms of like wish fulfillment um so something could be happening very fast out of nowhere very unexpected this week and it's gonna land you in a very favorable energy so you're getting some sort of yes some sort of approval something like that but again for a lot of you guys this is like partnership some sort of partnership somebody is like wanting to see you, you know, be close to you, touch you, make something up to you. Somebody's like feeling very urgent. There's an urgency to, um, to get to you, get back to you or something kind of like before it's too late air signs. Okay. So, um, all right, let's see just a little bit. What's going on with this action? Clarity confirmation for my air signs. What's going on with this action for the week? All right, so the Knight of Wands. Okay, so look at this. So the Knight of Wands is like the fastest moving knight here. Um, so somebody definitely has like a fire underneath underneath their ass to get to you, or this is you. Let's let's see. This is something coming towards you though, or somebody coming towards you. That's what it feels like, air signs. Um, but again, it's very general. So this could be your energy or somebody else's. You know where you fit in. What else is the action card? The Queen of Pentacles, yes. Yeah, somebody is viewing you, okay, as the King of Queen of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Swords. Let's see. Why the Nine of Swords, though? The Five of Swords, the Magician, the Six of Cups. Yeah, like I said, somebody is like... Uh, somebody, there's like a prized something person opportunity or something like that that could be you okay or you have your eyes on this but it's like somebody is feeling there's there's yeah all the cards just kind of fell out on the floor like somebody just doesn't 
And then the Fool card. Somebody's energy is like all over the place. Hold on one second, air signs. Okay, so I had to collect the card. Somebody is trying to collect their thoughts. They're trying to figure out like what they want to say to you, um, how they want to say it to you. Somebody might feel like, I don't know, like something might just be kind of like blurted out to you, air signs, um, or this is you. Uh, somebody's trying to figure out how to like hold on to you or some sort of connection with you here. What's broken heart? It's like it's, it's frantic, very frantic energy that I'm picking up on. What's broken heart for my air signs? The tower, Scorpio, some of y'all are dealing with Aquarius, the eight of swords and the three of cups. Like somebody, oof. I'm not understanding what may have happened previously or maybe all of this is happening this week. Um, but again, I'm getting that somebody is like really wanting to reconcile with you. Um, or some of y'all could be going through, it's something that you're thinking about, how you're thinking about it mentally, emotionally, but I feel like it's going to work out just fine. That's also what I'm getting here. Um, like something's coming out of nowhere with the tower card. What's the tower? And it's like, if you have no control over the situation, I feel like it's going to work out for you. If this is in dealings with somebody else with that higher fan and the devil, Taurus, Capricorn energy and the Ten of Cups, like this is somebody, somebody wants commitment here, but I feel like, I don't know, they're fearing it for some reason. They're fearing that it's no longer on the table. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is here. All right, what's Karen Connections? Clarity Confirmation. Some of y'all have pulled your energy back from this person. Um, you're, you're trying to see if like something is serious or somebody is serious here. Some of y'all are in the energy of like studying a particular situation or a person because it's not consistent or somebody's energy is up and down. Um, I kind of feel like you're just, some of y'all are just kind of, you've, you've taken a step back. Something's on the back burner here. Or somebody has done this to you, is doing this to you, and it just really got you like thinking. Yeah, thinking. The Knight of Cups is here. The page about taking on a new opportunity, about letting this go, okay, about moving on. Yeah, if you heard that horn in my background, strength card, moving on is here. Somebody's thinking about a different route, okay? Or somebody feels as if somebody else is thinking about like a different route, a different person or something like that. And the energy is like crazy. Seven of Wands is here. Nine of Wands is here. Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, I feel like maybe you've blocked somebody or you're very guarded towards a particular person. Um, some of y'all are dealing with the fire sign, ace of swords, but I feel like this person is just really trying to come in and, and solidify something with you. Yeah. The ace of swords, the death card and the justice, um, queen of wands, nine of wands, 10 of wands energy here. I, somebody's like, there's a major change. There's a major shift, a major change, or somebody's taking some sort of like drastic measures or actions towards you this week. So we're going to hop into the tarot, get the extra details, see what's going on, how you feel about this. This is where we're ending the YouTube portion. But if you would like to join us on Patreon, that link is going to be in the description box below. Um, but yes, thank you guys. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you on the next video.